So let's get this started. I'm making the red bean paste first. Wash the beans thoroughly. Put some water in the pot and cook the red bean for a few minutes. Dump the water and wash the beans again. We do this to get the astringent taste out from the bean. Let's put the beans in the pressure cooker. Pour about 700 cc of water and set it up for 25 minutes cooking. After cooking and when the pressure is off, make sure the beans are soft. Then you can pour in one third of sugar. Mix again, pour another third of sugar, then do the same for the last batch of sugar. Then at the end, add a pinch of sea salt. Simmer another 10 minutes and let it cool down. Let it sit for half day or overnight. Yay, this is a homemade red bean paste uncle. Now we are ready to cook some taiyaki. This is 200 grams of cake flour, half teaspoons of baking soda, one teaspoon of baking powder, one and a half tablespoons of sugar, a pinch of sea salt. Mix all the powders first. Then pour in the milk and mix. And then the water. One teaspoon of vegetable oil. Mix gently and let it sit for about one hour in the fridge. It's been one hour. Let's heat up to warm the waffle pan. Heat it up both sides. Then grease the pan on both sides. Pour in the batter about till it's full. Side. 
These are going to be the cover later on. Repeat this again, but this time place about 25 grams of red bean paste inside the middle. After that, pour in some more batter to hide the bean paste. Then, place the cover with the ones we grilled earlier. Close the lid and cook both sides till ready. Ta-da! This is pretty good! Now, let's do something. How about making it with different ingredients inside? Let's put some vegan cheese, homemade kimchi, then cheese on top again. Ta-da! Kimchi cheese taiyaki. Make the cake without the red bean paste inside. Then we can make taiyaki sandwiches. Lettuce, cucumber, and curry chickpea. And cover it up. Lettuce, and then corn chips, and kimpira bobo. And cover it up. I'm gonna cut the parts that are sticking out. This is a feast. How fun and yummy. You can make any sandwiches you like. Explore it and just make sure to make it tasty. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. And love to hear your feedback. Have a good day. Love ya. Bye.